we came across a project which involved 3D printing prosthetic limbs. For Road to Endeavour, we thought it was a really good chance to get the word of our project out there. We really want to promote the technology and the work being done. Hi, I'm Michael Norton, and I'm part of the project improving the functionality of 3D printed prosthetics. Along here with Matt, my partner. Sorry I wasn't here last week, mate. So we're pretty happy with our progress so far. We think that we've really hit some of the milestones that we wanted to achieve. We had three main design objectives which we wanted to complete, and that was the locking of the hand grasping position, the addition of the tool holder, and also uh, increasing the grip strength on the fingertips. Um, and we've made significant um, headway with all of those to a point where we're ready to start testing it on participants. Uh, our supervisor, Rena, has been a huge help for us. She's an academic within the university. So right now we're in the engineering workshops 3D printing room, and this is where we come and we put on and collect our 3D prints. In the workshop next door is also where we do a lot of the cleaning up of the models and we actually start building them together, as well as late nights on our lounge room floors. Yeah. This week we're getting everything together for the, um, the human trials, the, the fitting and testing. Uh, we have a couple of candidates coming in, pretty excited to get some real feedback. We've learned that communication is really important, keeping in contact with the candidates and their families, uh, tracking them down through the Aussie Hands charity who helped us out and of course um, keeping up with them. Definitely staying on top of the communication has been really important. So for the trials, uh, starts off pretty simple, just um, well introductions with the, the uh, candidate and their family, because these are kids that are gonna be coming in with their parents, um, and then show them the hand, explain how it works, off the wrist action uh, and how the fingers grip. Then um, go through a bit of a fitting process, see, make sure that their reduced hand does fit inside the prosthesis, uh, and we can teach them how to put it on themselves make any adjustments or, or put some foam lining in there if we need to. And then after that, sort of try gripping a few things, start with like a, a tennis ball or an apple, move up to a, a glass and a drink bottle. Then we're trying some of the attachments that we've got, a tool holder for cutlery, and then a, a larger tool holder with a, a skipping rope handle is one of the devices and a tennis racket as well will be used. So three different stages of gripping fine tools and larger tools. We fitted someone just this morning and uh, we have a second candidate coming in next Monday. Um, their hand has just been submitted and it's, it's going to be put on to print very soon. So we'll collect that before the end of the week, put it together over the weekend and make sure everything's ready to go for Monday. Um, this morning's fitting went really well. The candidate was pretty excited so he, he went straight into it and we were very surprised to see how eager he was to, to put the prosthesis on himself, jumped straight into picking things up. The silicon grip attachments that we'd put on the fingertips really helped with picking up objects like um, the, the glass. Uh, he was able to hold an apple, which was really cool to see. And then, yeah, he was swinging a tennis racket around with a large tool holder. So every, everything um, worked quite well. It was, it was really exciting and the, the family was really happy. It was great to see. Hey guys, thanks for watching Road to Endeavour episode 2. If you like the video and you want to support our cause, uh, please make sure to hit that like button down the bottom. And don't forget to come see us on Thursday the 18th of October at the Endeavour exhibition. Bye! Bye.